Sorry about that, you guys. I uh, had to split this video up into two parts. My phone was dying, so, uh, yeah. I mean, it still technically is, but I just want to get this video done over with, so I'll try to see if I can speed this along. So, once your uh, little black toothpicks right here have fully dried, then what you're going to want to do is take uh, some index cards. Uh, you're only going to need one, so you don't need this one. Uh, or you can, it depends how much index card you intend to use. But basically, let me get the camera down. So basically now, what's going to happen is that, remember that arrow that I talked about earlier? Well, now you're going to want to take this, and you're going to need a pencil. So you're going to try and just trace. Uh, it helps if it's like near the end right here. Just take it and then trace. There you go, just the fit of it. Just like that. And then just add a line going up until you get an image that looks something like this. See that? So, you know, just kind of trace the outline of the, of the I think they call flet fletchings of the fletching, and then just get that. Once, you're, once you've uh, gotten that, you're going to want to take some scissors, and you're going to want to cut that little piece out. This part is a little tricky, okay? So this is gonna try your patience. Just just a tiny bit. And uh, yeah, and you'll see what I mean by that in just a second. So once you're finished cutting that out, uh, oops, I just dropped it. That's one of the things I'm talking about. It's like you'll drop it a few times. But once you're finished with that and you've cut it to the perfect length that it needs to be, there you go. So you should, if you're a, a good artist, you should have something that looks kind of like this. And uh, you can either take this index card or like another one if you don't want to paint on like your table, whatever. And then you just put that down. There you go. And then you're going to want to take that green paint that uh, I mentioned earlier. So then take some of that. I normally just put it like in the cap. Kind of like this. So you're going to take the paintbrush and then you're going to like just paint over that green. Uh, like I said, this is r the most frustrating part about it. Because this is where a lot of work is required. But I'll tell you this, the results, once you're done, is definitely worth it. It, it really is. Trust me, it is. Because it looks amazing. So, sorry, you probably lost track of, like, where to go. It's right here. Oh, oops. So, yeah, you could just use this in this card. Because you're still going to paint it any this color anyway. So, basically, yeah. Just like that. So you're going to have something that looks like this. Okay? Okay. Okay. So, once you've... Once this thing right here is dry... Then here comes the infuriating part. You ready? Okay, so you're going to want to take... These that you just saw earlier. And then you're going to want to take some super glue. And then you're going to want to put it right, like, right here. And then basically you're going to want to start putting these fletchings on the, these so-called, like, arrows themselves. But you want to put them on in a way that it looks like it's a part of Drat. Yeah, so like it's kind of sticking out a bit. So kind of like that. You see how it's like kind of at an angle? Oops, the quality is really bad. Okay, so you see how this right here is kind of at an angle slightly? Yeah, what you want to do is kind of get it like that, but you don't want to put too many, too many on because you want to kind of vary it to make it look like, you know, there's arrows in there. But don't stick like a whole bunch. Make it look like there's some sticking out on the side. Because as you can see, they're kind of they kind of fanned out a bit. 
So it's not just like, don't put just a whole bunch. You gotta kind of make it look like it's arrows, but they're all bunched together. Like there's a whole bunch because the arrows look like this. So it's just like if you're imagining one of these arrows in between, oh my goodness, sorry, the quality is just so bad. My, my phone's not focusing. So you kind of just want to imagine that if this was a part of this, the arrow fletchings would be like all over the place because they're all just bunched together. So you just want to repeat the same process again of taking uh, one of his arrows, putting it down here, uh, drawing it just like this, adding an extra line to it like that, then take your scissors, cut them out. Just like so. Like I said, it's okay if you mess up. You know, you could try it multiple times. Like I said, if you got plenty of toothpicks, it should be no problem for you then. Uh, you know, I only got lucky the first time I did it, so it's alright. So then you just get another one of these. Put it down. Grab your paintbrush. Take some paint. paint on top of the fletching make sure you don't lose it in the green paint because sometimes you will but that's okay it's bound to be in there somewhere yeah and just repeat the same process so you just gotta get this fletching off of here there you go Or, actually, I just thought of something right now. Or, if you don't want to go through all the hassle of having to paint all the fletchings on here, here's what you can do also. So, basically, okay, uh, I'm going to take one of the arrows, and then basically what you want to do is just sculpt a whole bunch of them. So, you just draw that. Just draw that. draw that and then repeat the same process over and over and over again yeah I just thought of this right now this can make it I mean it's still just as infuriating but it'll make it go so much faster because you don't have to keep waiting for this thing over here to dry so once you have a whole bunch then you could just start cutting them out <clears throat> sorry I'm still getting over a cold which is also why videos have kind of been on hold I've been sick. If you can hear that in the back, that's my brother. He's freaking out uh, about Fortnite. So, just, you know what? I'm just going to kind of cut it right here because it's just me kind of just cutting all these out. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so once you have a certain amount of uh, your fletchings kind of cut out, as you can see right here, then what you're going to want to do is uh, take the super glue, do the same thing as you did before. Come on, focus. There you go. Then just kind of, you can either put it on the same one right here. Like I said, I just thought about this idea. So... And then just kind of stick it there. As you can see, I'm doing it wrong. So what you see I'm trying to do is kind of putting it on here, but it won't stay for some reason. Okay, hold up a second. Sorry, it's just hard to get all this on camera. 
also A little bit of trial and error here, you guys. Or well, whoever it is attempting to do this at home. There you go. As you can see, I kind of angled it. A little bit like that. Well, it was angled. Now it's kind of just, you know what, forget this. This one's not working out. So I'm going to just try another one. Right here. Come on. There we go. So you can kind of see I kind of got it on like at a slight angle. So it's kind of like that. So uh, once you got that done, then you just move on to the next one. You keep going across uh, just like so. And you're probably wondering, uh, why aren't you painting it like you were before? Well, I'm going to get to that. Like I said, this is... Uh, this gave me an idea for something. So... Then as you can kind of see, I'm placing them around Drat. Oh dear. Yeah, uh, chances are you're going to probably uh, end up losing a couple of your fletching because the super glue is just not working out right now. It's kind of being a pain. But. I uh, hope you guys can actually see what I'm doing. I'm just like taking the super glue and just like glue, putting some just a little bit of glue. You got to have just, I mean, really, really delicate hands for something like this. And keep in mind, I've never done a video like this before. So if this fails, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm, I'm trying here. So I got this one on here. So as you can see, I'm kind of just putting it all around here and stuff. I feel like I kind of messed up right here, but maybe I can try and fix those. Okay, so I'm going to cut out some more fletchings and I'll continue to show you guys. Uh, hold on. Okay, so uh, once you're finished, uh, basically putting the fletchings all on the... The arrows themselves, as you can see, I kind of just put it individually on there. So you just make them kind of stick around and stuff like that. I I got super frustrated, even though I've already done this before. But it's like, this is the most difficult part. And all I can say is that it requires a lot of patience to do. But in the end, it's, it's worth it. Now, 
I'm sure many of you may be wondering why I left them white instead of coloring them. Well, uh, basically, here's what we can do now, because this will be a lot, a lot easier. So once you've glued all of your fletchings onto where you want them to go, like I said, this one doesn't look really that great. It's not that perfect, except maybe this side. This side looks pretty good. You're going to want to take some of the green paint from here, and then you're just going to start painting over the white stuff. Now, you may be like, oh, but it's going to get on, it's, some of it's going to get on the, the, the black arrows. Yes, it, some of them uh, will, but you can take some black paint and easily paint over that. So if you got green paint anywhere on the arrows that you don't want it to be, you could just take some black paint and then just go over it. I'll show you a little bit of that too. Hold up. Let's get these painted. So you can see all these are painted now. So, hold up. So once you're kind of finished uh, with this right here, it looks kind of a mess, but uh, I'm going to try and see if I can clear some of this up. So you're going to want to take some of your black paint, which you got right here. And then just like kind of go over the places that you that you kind of put green over and you just get rid of that so like right here you may have to do this a couple times uh, afterwards you know if you want if you really want it to look really really perfect So, just adding a little more detail right here. As you can see, this side looks a little bit better. Just a little bit. And just go over here. Do the same thing. So when you're done, it should look a little something like this. Now mine doesn't look that great. Um, I mean, you could add a few more. I could always add a few more fletchings to it, but I just wanted to make this video just to show you what the steps are to make the the arrows in the quiver. So um, yeah, that's that's pretty much that's pretty much it right here. So uh, yeah, so then once you're finished, you just Stick it right there in his quiver, and uh, there you go. Now, uh, now he's uh, got some arrows back there. Like I said, this one isn't the best. I didn't really put too much effort into this one, unlike these. But you could just take the same exact example. These are the exact same. Oops, these are the exact same steps I took. 
Um, yours may come out a lot better, so the person requesting this, um, I hope yours does come out a lot better than these, but this is basically the steps you have to do to, to make the arrows, and, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. And then once you're done, you know, it should look hopefully much better than what I made right here. But if you really put your effort into it and stuff, then, um, yeah. If you really put lots of effort into it, then it should come out a little something like this. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and, uh, hopefully you guys, or I'll see you guys in the next video. And, uh, yeah. See you guys later.